try to assemble my new computer system. I went from a second generation Intel 7 to an AMD, the processor is 6 core, it's got an ASUS motherboard, I've got an ASUS NVIDIA GeForce 650 video card with two fans, got a one terabyte hard drive, a wireless network card, a DVD, 650 watt power supply, and the case. And on the case, what I like to do is I like to make sure I can locate all these. Before I put the motherboard into the computer, I want to locate all the pins because I've got better lighting and it's easier to see while the motherboard's out. We've got the power LED negative, power LED positive, and those go right over here, power LED neg positive and negative right there. So back two pins, and then the HDD LED, which is right by those. These two pins right here, and we have the power switch L uh, connectors and the reset button connector. So, power switch, and the reset switch, and we have the high definition audio. That goes in this AAFP. I looked in my directions on the motherboard. It's a 10 minus 1 pin. Then I have this 20 minus 1 pin connector for the USB 3s on the front. So that takes care of all these items right here on the front. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the power supply in. It's got slides right in. Got a lot of cables to deal with. Put it in that little slot and just slide it backwards. Put some screws in. Hold it in place. Supply secure. There's the motherboard. And there's five places where it screws, and then it's got one pin. So I'm going to line that up with these five and that pin. I'm going to be careful not to touch anything that I'm not supposed to touch, making sure I was grounded first. It's got to line up with the jacks on the back side. Fit in there real nice. Got five screws here. Magnetic screwdrivers are real handy. Knockouts here, pretty handy. They just squeeze together and push out. I already have the SATA cable attached. Slide it in, and it should latch right into place. Yep, it's secure. Might as well hook it up the one here. SATA, where's SATA 2 at? Right there. You can see the number right there. That's SATA 1, 2, 3, and 4. You're going to have a lot of light when you're working on these. Thank God for cameramen. 
Let's go ahead and start hooking these little wires up for the front of the case. There's my HD audio. Ten pin, ten minus one pin. Make sure I get it on there right. Don't like the way that's routed, so I'm gonna put that. Power switch. That doesn't appear to have a positive and negative. Slides right on the pins. Power LED positive. HDD hard drive LED and that apparently doesn't have a positive negative even though it shows that it does on the thing so Not a computer expert, I just know enough to be dangerous. Now the reset switch. Mm, is that all of them? Yes, that's all. This is my 10 pin USB. And that says USB 3 right there, and it's got 10 pins minus 1. And my minus one is, I can't tell. Now there's that, goes there. Turn it the right way here. Seems like it's not supported very good there in the center. So just kinda give it a little support as I'm plugging it in. Can you tell us that down, my boy? Yeah. Okay. All right. And this is the fan. This cord comes from the fan. Might as well hook that up now. And that's a chassis fan. So I need to look for a CH fan. And I'm looking and I'm not seeing. Well, there's one there, but that's closer to this fan. There's another one there. So maybe we'll use this one here. That one there. And it's got this little thing that slides over that plastic, but it's just not gonna reach. slide on that plastic thing. Yeah. Alright. 
A little fans are done. And that looks like it's going to stay out of the processor fan. Got four sticks of RAM in there. They're eight gigs apiece. Okay, next. Maybe we should do this. That's kind of handy on these hard drive compartments. They have it, they have a little slide out thing, and these pins just line up in the sides of the hard drive. And you can just slide it back in. Kind of handy. It's already got the SATA cable on that, too. Hmm. Well, a little clip broke, but I guess it's okay. It's secure, so should be good to go. And we're gonna put this in the saddle one. And get it turned right. Now, we've got the main motherboard connector for the power supply. And we have these kind of cabled together, so they have to come off. A little clip goes on the front there. Snapped into place. There's my SATA connectors. Doesn't really matter which one I use because I'm just powering it up. Let's see which one's going to stay out of the fan the best. Or maybe I'll use it that way. They have that upside down. It's got a little notch on the back side of it, so. I suppose I should have hooked it in. Okay. Saddle cable. Everything seems to be staying out of the way of the fans so far, but we'll hire it. Let's see. It's going to go in like that, so I'm going to have to knock out two spots. PCI 16. Oh, there's two PCI Express 16s. I'll just use this one. And that'll keep it away from my other PCI slots. So. Cables out of the way. Down the way. Must be. I didn't hear it click. <laughs> Down. Oh, there it goes. Power. 
enough supply for my six pin video card that the squares goes in that corner. PCI Express cord. Alright. Cable ties maybe. Oh, let's see this too. Hmm. Great. I don't know if it's going to slide in there or not. Yep, there's enough room. Alright, stick my wireless card in there. Sliding in real easy. Okay. That's everything, I think. So for the cable management system here. Well, I got one more connector I forgot is the 12 volt ATX power. And it's got a little square doohickey. Goes in the square hole. it up now. I've actually already had it booted up and I've loaded Windows and a couple other programs on there. It was working fine. You'll notice the lights coming on. Some of the little wires that we hooked up, there's the hard drive light. The DVD light should come on pretty soon. It's a little blue light. Well, it's not going to come on. It does come on, because it did come on before, so a little blue light comes on right there. Now Windows is booting up. And there we are. It's booted up.